back with episode 30 of lego star wars skywalker saga anyways let's get into the game because so much news a little time to do so all right last episode we finished collecting the last of the data cards however even though we have wrong button we have all 19 data cards however we don't actually have the last Two, yeah, we don't have the last two red bricks or data card extras, unlocks, whatever you want to call them. I don't know, uh, but yeah, we still need to get them. Which I will say, we're getting really, really close to getting the coin times ten, and then once we get that, we'll be able to quickly get this one. However, 
like I've said before, the sad part is that we won't really be able to use this one because, well, you know why. Alright, uh, let's see what else. Let's get out of that, hold on. Alright, so last episode we finally got to see the cutscene that was glitched uh, all the way back in episode 24. So, at the end of episode 24, there was a cutscene that got glitched out and we didn't get to see, we, well, we, heard, we had the audio, but we didn't get to see the footage. I mean, thankfully it was only a small part, but still, 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 it's still a cutscene. Okay. Well, anyways, uh, like I said, we originally did not get to see that back in episode 24. However, last episode, episode 29, uh, we were able to re-go back through the level and finally see the cutscene that was missed. So, yay. Uh, anyways, last episode, which is, this is the big highlight, we started working on the capital ships. So, oh my, I hit it again. I, I keep hitting the wrong button. Uh, these things. So, we got one... Two, three, a four, a five. We got five capital ships done in last episode. This episode, we are going to be working on the remaining three. And then after we get the last capital ship, then we're going to go and explore each capital ship. And you know what? Even though we already did explore the Trade Federation battleship, I think I'll just bring it up real quick and we'll just... Skim through it real fast. Well, I think we're going to skim through <laughs> the other ones kind of fast. But we'll skim through this one a little faster. Just so that all of the capital ships can be seen in the same episode. Okay. So, like, for example, next in terms of what we need to get is the Invisible Hand uh, capital ship. So that's going to be up next. But anyways, at the end of last episode, we actually took on, like, three different capital ships. One after another, which was really weird. However, the third one, though was a capital ship that we can't get. So, that led me to believe that it seems that after you complete the capital ships, the ones that you can purchase and explore, it turns out there might be a few capital ships in the game that will just occasionally come on through and allow you to take on capital ships so that it's not a completely gone mecha game mechanic anymore, you know, you'll still be able to take on capital ships, however these other ones, however many there is, because we've only seen one so far, you can't explore them, you just blow them up and then that's it, so, yeah, that, that's that, anyways, that, all that information, that was the last episode, as for this episode, you already know what we're doing, like I said, capital ships, yada yada yada, <laughs> and anything else, anything else for this episode, um, let's see, Get the capital ships. Explore the capital ships. I feel like there was something else I said in the last episode. But I can't remember what it was now. And wait, how the hey did you get so close? Anakin was originally all the way over there next to those boxes. But I guess every time he's been doing this animation, he keeps getting closer and closer and closer. That or at one point he actually finally decided to walk on over, but yeah. Uh... Alright, well anyways, uh, normal disclaimer, no music, thanks to Disney, you know the rest. Alright, let's, let's, let's get started here, I really want to be making progress. Oh, anyways, in terms of total percentage, we are now at 50, 56% complete. So, yeah, that's all our total progress right there on screen, and yeah. Alright, let's move. Alright, now we just need to wait for a capital ship to spawn. Whoops! Oh no, I hit the wrong button. Oh, there it goes. Wait, what? Uh, that's not the one we're looking for. 
Uh oh, that's the wrong capital ship. Wait, where's it even at? <laughs> Why am I not seeing this? What? Oh, there it is. Alright, so apparently they have a regular. Oh! I think I get it now. So, these other capital ships that you can take on after you claim these ones is like copies of the ones you already own. Because the one we took on in at the end of the last episode, it was basically a copy of this ship, but it had a different name. And now we have... Well, basically a copy of this one, but it's got the same name, though, which is kind of a little weird. But, uh, yeah, so I'm guessing you can get copies of the ships that you take on in space, which, of course, would not include these two, since these two required a mission for both of them. So, I guess all seven of these, once you purchase them, you know, finish them and purchase them, then, like I said, a duplicate of them, but maybe with a different name, or maybe not will show up later on, and yeah, that way you can still keep going against them. That is nice. I, I really like that, because yeah, I thought that once you complete them, they're done. And that that was a little sad. Because, like, say, if you like doing these, it's kind of messed up that you can only do them just so many times and that's it. But now that we found out that it's a... Uh, redoable part of the game, then yay! Okay, what's left on this thing needs to be destroyed? That's it for this Trade Federation we battleship. Huh. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, to get to see them get blown up, that is that that's neat. But again, you can only see that after you finish the original one and purchased it. Whoops! Oh wait! I can, oh, we can get more coins. I didn't know that. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme all those coins. Boom. <laughs> okay, now we should be able to get the next thing here. Oh, whoops, pass it right up. Alright, here we go. It's worth a lot of money. Alright, now, we just need 500 million. Almost a thousand. 500 million for the last extra, whatever you want to call it.
What's with these rings? Hmm? Wait, what's home one doing here? Alright, so we're just trying to get the invisible hand to spawn right now. It can spawn at either Geonosis, Mustafar, Naboo, or Utapa. We're at Utapa at the moment. We'll do some space battles and see if we can get this thing to spawn. There. Yes, we got it. Whoa, I love the green. Wait. Why is the overall... Oh, that's right, because the overall thing has to be Oh, that looks so nice. Wait, no, when we took on the other capital ships, they were red. Why is this one green? Even though I think this is following the... What's the tutorial uh, told me? You know, the information. Because I remember questioning about it a long time ago. Like, wait, why is it green when you have to go against it, but red when you own it? It makes no sense. Okay, where am I missing? Not so fast. I don't want to destroy this. 
It's it's green. Got it. How can a ship this big get beaten by that? <laughs> Droids, shoot them down now. The invisible hand isn't so invisible anymore. It was too easy for him. <laughs> oh, it's doing the same thing it did in uh, in the story. Yeah, this is this is the ship that uh, General Grievous was on. I told you to stop those intruders. Do you all need your oil change or something? Whoa! Wait, what's with the the thing right in front of us here? What is this? Is that just for this? I, I'm... The other ones didn't have that. Oh, we get to be back in this room.
Ah, there it is. Oh wait, we need two of them? Oh. Okay, another capital ship complete. Please, this is already embarrassing enough for me. Can we just get out of here? Please give a warm welcome to our new captain. They force their way onto our ship and into our hearts. Welcome to my, uh, I, I mean your ship, Captain. All right, what's next? Um, let's go to Jakku. And now we wait. What's the total cash? Uh, okay, so we're close to 500 million. Oh, that was a fail. Okay, so now we can finally get the final one of these, whatever we want to call them. And, alright, let me mute real quick. There we go, just in case this activates music or something. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, no! 
<laughs> Entire galaxy is nothing but... A d <laughs> Wait, what, what's the write-up on this again? Galaxy Rave. Turns Galaxy Free Play into a fun disco for all to enjoy. Be aware, while the Galaxy Rave is active, there's a chance that characters in-game will be too busy grooving to your actions in-game. Uh, this can't be activated as the same, at the same time as Cantina Music. But anyways, oh my god. <laughs> okay, hold on. Real quick, I gotta see if there's actually sound to this. Um, BRB. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I had to make sure it wasn't going to bleed through. Even though I have music off, we know, thanks to back all the way in episode one, that certain things can still trigger music. That is just insane. <laughs> Okay, I need to know what is what the actual music sounds like. So BRB, I need to check this out. Okay, while I was checking it out, uh, the dreadnought showed up. <laughs> uh, anyways, as for the music itself, it sounds like a massive. Uh, how do I even explain it? Unless I can play for like a split second. So you can get an idea. Alright, um, just going to be for a second. Hopefully that will give you an idea, enough of an idea. Uh, can't really do much more. Um, whoops. I didn't get to really hear as much myself because I actually right now number one have the TV low and then of course the thing had to show up right after. Uh, I don't even know what you want to call this. It's um, maybe like synth music maybe? I don't know. I'm terrible. It's, but it's definitely like a remix. It has uh, some some lines in it and uh, just yeah anyways let's continue oh anyways let, let me turn this thing off just in case if it's uh 
causing anyone to uh, <laughs> go absolutely insane from all the massive... I mean, we'll turn that back on when we get on a planet just so we can see what it looks like. But I, I think we saw enough of it for space. Oh wait, first order dreadnought. Oh wait, this wasn't the one we were looking for, was it? Oh, we were looking for steadfast. Oh crap. Is this one we've already done. Also, I think we have enough cash now, so... Let's turn that and that and that off. For the first order! The first order is much to be trifled with. We will be doing the trifling, thank you very much. Hmm. Uh, game, what are you shooting at? Wait, did that one ship just literally crash right into the... into the capital ship? Huh. Alright, where are we missing? Oh! The engine's in the back. Okay, so so far two ships that we don't want. Still trying to get the one we do want. Is it just me or the explosion is a little bit bigger than last time I blew up all this stuff? Alright, so obviously it's not working here, so Jakku, just no. Let's try somewhere else. Uh, let's see, we still have Exegol. You know what, Exegol. Exegol it is. What, what am I going for again? I, I'm... Oh, for crying out loud. Give it to him. Uh, 
Okay, so this is essentially just a re reskin of the or uh, well, so to speak, of the Fuminatrix. Uh, we need steadfast or venator. Venator? I don't know. Uh, where is the other locations? Let's see. Cantonica. All right, let's try Cantonica. Wow, just to get the last two ships is proving very difficult right now. Because it keeps spawning all the ones we've already done. Come on! This thing's following us! Okay, we need a bomber. Wait. Okay, so yeah, we can actually use these. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so stupid. Oh my gosh. Okay, I need something that fires fast. Oh wait, we have another one. Oh wow. That fires fast. That's actually pretty good. However, do we have any bombs? I'm just wondering. I know the one ship does bombs, but it's kind of slow. I wouldn't even know. I have literally no idea. Whoa. All right, screw it. Just use this for it. Now it's got a fast fire rate.
doing the trifling, thank you very much. Take him out, first order style! That should do it. Or maybe not. Uh, what are we missing? Maybe I missed an engine in the back. Nope. Maybe I missed a turret on the front. On top. There. They told me this fleet was unbeatable. Alright, now please stop chasing us and let us get the dreadnoughts we're after. Now, earlier, with, um, when we were going against the, the other battleships, so basically the last episode, I basically didn't do anything, and they just spawned in. I had a better chance that way, whereas it seems like when we do the space battles, it's been spawning the other ones. Now, again, I don't know if that's... I don't know. Maybe we are supposed to be doing the space battles. I mean, that's what the internet said, but yet I've already gotten a bunch of these things to spawn while not doing space battles. See? Just sitting here doing nothing. Aha! There we go. There's the one, the ones we're looking for. Finally. I switch characters for uh, more shield. Let's check underneath. Alright, what am I missing? That was it.
nothing can save you from the First Order now. <laughs> Don't be so sure about that. Okay, let's test two things while we're in here. First of all, no let's just fix. Whoops! Oh, wrong buttons again. I'm here on Jedi business. Second of Step all, aside. it's my turn. Turn that off and turn that on. Whoa! Oh, that's what's firing at us! All right, one down. There. Wait, what? I can't throw this. Hmm. I didn't pick up a key cord. There. Oh, that's cool. I forgot about that. You can actually uh, move the camera. It is I, the 
one and only captain of this ship. Prepare to meet your doom. <laughs> Okay, she's just gonna hide back there, so... Good, hopefully this will be a better battle. This will be a walkover. You'll never take this ship. Prepare to be Your information. The enemy has booted our ship and intends to take control. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be a better battle. Why fight when you can have your enemies fight your battles for you? Oh, I got it out of range. And also I lost him. Crap. Why does it keep aiming at the feet? Stop it. I've been aiming away from it just a wee little bit the side instead of directly head on and try to force it to throw upwards instead of trying to hit the feet. Is there bombs anywhere? Oh, this will work. Oh, <laughs> you fool. I am not the real captain. Deception. I am the real captain. You have won. Whilst we're being hijacked, we ask that you remain calm and keep crying to a minimum. Hmm. <laughs> Look how they're walking. Oh my gosh. Dancing and walking. Welcome to our new captain. They boost their way onto our ship and into our hearts. <laughs> Some of went to a lot of effort to collect. Don't hesitate to reinspect my database if you need assistance. I ain't going anywhere. 
Okay, the fact this one has a shooting gallery. Uh, can we see this information from... Oh, wait, now I know where we can see the information from. We can see it from here. Yeah. Wait, there's... There's puzzles on this ship? You're kidding me. Apparently, some of the ships are going to take a while to get through. Our most honorable captain has returned. Here to maraud our ship again? Uh, where's this thing go? I'm surprised I haven't found a place to put this yet. The ship is now under new management, so the previous complaints and suggestion boxes have been launched into space. Here we go. Wow. <gasps> it's the Wandering Wookiee! Alright, so that nothing gets screwed up here. Let's turn this off. expect to see him here. <laughs> Shouldn't the last sentence say good thing? They weren't around long enough to worry about stuff like that and so good job they weren't around long enough to worry about stuff like that it's just good job does not sound right it should say good thing it's like wow it's such a good thing that they weren't around long enough you see what i'm saying yeah so i don't know what that was all about as to why that was not where to write. Okay, at least we got one for right now. All right, uh, now we just have one more capital ship to go. Let's see, Coruscant, Camino, or Kashyyyk. Uh, let's try Kashyyyk first. Uh, you know what? Actually, 
Let's not take this ship. I think that's one of the things that might have been screwing things up. That sucks, we can't drive that thing. Wait, where am I at right now? I think I'm at... Monica, right? Okay, either way it got us out normally, so that's good. Because that seems to be the best thing to do. Which is weird, but it seems to be working. See? Oh, it's the wrong one. Okay, what was the other locations? Coruscant and Camino. Uh, let's try... Let's try Coruscant. Yes! There it is! The final capital ship we needed! Yes! I wonder if they must have changed... Uh, they, they might have changed... How to get capital ships to spawn, because... What, what I, um... But I read up on this at the beginning. Yeah, you know, before we did all the capital ships, was that you're supposed to do space battles to get them to spawn.
Got it. Oh! oh. I think my ship just ran right into the, uh, into the capital ship. Oh, this is different. This is, I mean, this is a really different versus the other ones. The Republic stands for justice and peace. Those who oppose us must be stopped. Oh, this one was in episode three. We saw this in the movie, uh, the, the ship. This is the one that Obi-Wan was on right before he went to Utpa. Oh, This was right before Order 66 was initiated. Why can't I do that? Oh, no, you don't. That was a nice little nod right there. The fact that that's actually supposed to happen right after this. And, and, and it also goes together nicely with uh, this little battle point where, you know, it's us versus them, yada, yada, yada. It's weird though, the layout inside this ship has reminded me of two other places. The Death Star. The Republic will not let itself be engulfed in turmoil again. Prepare to be engaged. And one of the uh, ships from Darth Vader's fleet. Like for example, this spot right here. Literally looks like one of the spot, uh, one one of the ships that Vader was on back in uh, <laughs> I can't remember which movie it was. He'd walk across this part right here. Whoa, she got a flamethrower. My power continues to grow. There's no match for me. These ships are expensive, you know. The real losers are the tax-paying civilians of the core world. And there we go. 
We now own all of the capital ships. Ah, oh, Captain. You're back. Great. Do you even care about the Republic? Because I do. My care could fill up a Lucra Hulk class battle station. I bet yours couldn't fill an N1 starfighter. Oh yeah, right. You don't care about the Republic because guess what? In like X amount oh, hold on. X amount of time, uh, you're going to be helping the clone troopers uh, uh, help the Sith slash bad guys. So yeah. Don't give me any of that, uh, you know, <laughs> this is one of the coolest parts being able to look outside the ship and see what's actually outside the ship. Oh, this is neat. Well, Captain, we are you. All crew members will be issued clean uniforms following the brutal takeover of our ship by all new Captain. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Maybe I should just save up. Alright, where are we going to host all these ships at? Well, maybe the plant, plant that we're supposed to go to next after all this, I guess. Which would be Naboo? Whoa! Uh, no, I am not going against that thing right now. Alright, starting off with the Death Star. Oh, what? It won't let you get close enough. I was gonna go along the uh, the one part there. Right.
The ship is now under new management, so the previous complaints and suggestion boxes have been launched into space. Thank you for your thoughts. Oh. Okay, apparently we need to destroy ten of the posters. Wait, this one let, lets us ride it. What? Why didn't the other one let us do that? Whoa, I can see outside the ship again. Okay, there's another poster. Wonder what's above us. The plan is you're going to go to the These ceiling no problem. and throw a switch. How dare you directly address an Imperial officer? Move aside, wretch. What? Got it. Wait till Star BB bars. gets a load of this. I am here on Jedi business. Okay, kind of cheating. <laughs> no, this is the whole reason why we got this. The prize for this week's Hollow Chess competition will be two tickets to the Space Opera Squid Lake. Again. Okay, we got one there, one there, one there. Where's the fourth one? There's always four. Oh wait, is that it? Wait, one, two, three, four, okay. Got it. I'll keep this one. A new captain special will be served in the cafeteria today. 
What? Huh? Okay, I can't drive it. I can just fire it. Okay, in case this plays something. Have you ever heard the tragedy of the Death Star? It is truly a tale of woe. A beautiful battleship with a beautiful ambition to destroy planets with reckless abandon. Alas, thanks to those awful rebels, it was not to be. But. Through the magic of the theater, you and I can rewrite history. Imagine what would have been had the Empire won. A nightmare? Wonderful. And because you exude such star potential, you will be playing the role of the Death Star. Huh. Now, if you can make your way to the stage, the show can begin. No need for rehearsals. Just follow my lead. In a fair galaxy, far, far away, a beautiful battleship came out to play. Her <laughs> name was the Death Star, and her only true joy was finding entire planets she could destroy. She started with Alderaan, not much to see. She smashed it to pieces with obvious glee. Wait, why does it look like Earth? The ship is now under new management, so the previous complaints and suggestions of it have been launched into space. Thank you for your thoughts. I said she smashed it to pieces with obvious gl- Oh, 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 I didn't realize the whole thing didn't get destroyed. I'm sorry. I didn't know there was another piece. Alderaan fell. And the Death Star felt glad. How could a thing that felt so good be bad? As more and more planets appeared in her sights, she blasted them too, though they put up a fight. Ha! <laughs> oh, there she put up a fight! Surrounded by glorious planet debris, the Death Star felt deadly as deadly could be. <laughs> the one was Hoth. I don't know what the other two were. Unless one was supposed to be Yavin 4 and then... Uh, either way, I'm pretty sure it was just the planets that uh, the Death Star had... Or no, the planets that were in 4, 5, and 6, I guess. But darkness was brewing nearby in the land. An evil rebellion to ruin her plans. Ooh. They came dressed in white with ridiculous hats and shouted at Death Star. Hey. Um. Wait, wasn't the stormtroopers also dressed in white as well, genius? <laughs> you can't do that! A reminder that tomorrow's bring your pet to work day. The rebels attacked, but Death Star held firm and quickly dispatched those rebellious worms. <laughs> wow. 
Jedi spotted. Engage it. Actually, yeah, if anything, I think the rebels from that point were With the rebels defeated, the Death Star had won and shone like the deathliest, starriest sun. I'll talk about it in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You're all too kind. Very good. At least for an amateur. For a moment there, I almost believed that the Empire had come out on top instead of those infernal. Easy, Jir. Remember your blood pressure. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to write my next piece Death Star 2 Battleship in the City. <laughs> Anyways, as I was trying to say, let's see, hero, here, 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 here. That, okay, I had to shut her up. That was the clothing they were wearing, for the most part, okay, so, he should have said something else instead of all dressed in white, because... The storm uh, stormtroopers, as we can clearly see, wait, where's classic? Um, Okay, so as we can see, these guys are all dressed up in white, whereas the uh, rebels weren't. So it's it's just it's just weird the fact how he says. I mean, yes, it everything rhymed and everything was nice, but it's just still the same part of the his little story that bugs me. I mean, unless he wants to talk about say Leia, okay, but that was just Leia. Who's all in white? So, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to assume that this mission here you had to do here on the first Death Star first, and then hop over to the second Death Star to do part two of his mission. I bet you any money. Okay, where do these power cells go? Oh, here we go. Here's the cafeteria. Yes, we can go in the cafeteria now. Oh, well, almost. I need C-3PO for that part. And... Okay, we don't need any power cells in there, so let's keep going onwards. 
onwards and upwards. Okay, there's where the key card is. I don't see anywhere where to put this thing. I'm just about ready to toss this thing down. Because I don't see where you put this. Because there was also another one. There was two of these. So the previous complaints and suggestion boxes have been launched into space. Thank you for your thoughts. Alright, forget it. I'm done carrying nothing around. I have no clue why it's here. Especially why there's two of them. I tell you based on a true story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, the wandering Wookiee! Alright, we'll uh, attend to him soon. First, let's take this key card and get through that one door. Or not through the door. No, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's, that's not, not the right one. No, the key card was for the Kyber Brick in the room that C3PO and R2D2 was in in the Death Star. Um, yeah. Here. All right. Oh, hello. I am C. Review. How may I be of assistance? I can certainly be of assistance here. The 
prize for best in college in competition will be two tickets to the space opera Squid Lake. Again. Cake or death? Oops. All I meant to do was take out the... the poster. Did not mean to destroy the whole, the whole area. What? What did I do? What did I do? What? Oh, it had to do with this. <laughs> Stay on target. Stay on target. Okay, what else is left here other than one more poster that I'm aware of? A new captain special will be served in the cafeteria today. Deep fried gork. Yeah, this is bugging me way too much. There we go. Final poster, or whatever. Okay, so here's the wandering Wookiee. right by it okay now we know what to do wait what oh There we go. Fully operational. Now, was there anything else, or is that it? Alright, nothing showing up. Nope, we're done. With the Death Star. Nice. Now off to see the Death Star 2. The ship is now under new management, so the previous complaints and suggestion boxes have been launched into space. Thank you for your thoughts. 
Well, I guess we're not going to see all the capital ships in the same episode. Whoops. Well, it wasn't my fault. Alright, uh, let's see here. Capital ships and dismiss. Capital ships. Select. There we go. Really? This is neat. I find the Death Star 2, or sorry, <laughs> the second Death Star to be a lot neater to, a lot cooler to look at than the first one. The first one, it's just a giant sphere. Whereas here, look at this. Just look how it's fully operational and yet it's half built. No wonder the deaths. Uh, well, I was gonna say Death Star, but no. No wonder the Empire keeps losing. They build something halfway and call it done. <laughs> or, or maybe I could say, <laughs> then he put half work into everything that they do. All right, so I'm hoping this is going to the previous complaints and suggestion boxes have been launched into space. Thank you for your thoughts. You know, as as even though they have funny announcements and stuff, I wish you could turn the announcer off. It does get annoying. Uh anyways, uh I'm hoping this will also look like the original. I'm assuming it will cuz the first one did, but still. Uh, anyways, real quick B or B. Alright. This is going to have to be the last capital ship we'll see in this episode. Uh, but anyways, okay, so we got seven copper bricks to wor work on and a ship to explore. And there's one copper brick all the way up there. How, wait, how do we get up there? Oh, I see. Alright, tell me the plan. Plans to go up. These are no problem. Wait till BB eight gets a load of this. I'm here on Jedi business. A reminder that tomorrow's Bring Your Pet to Work Day is cancelled, following last year's tragic pool incident. Another battalion is to be deployed to the forest moon of Endor. Not sure why they need more forces. The Ewoks pose little to no threat. Ah, little do, little do you know. <laughs> the knee high to a bits bug and ran around pantsless waving sticks. Don't underestimate the Ewoks. They kicked your rear ends last time. And they'll do it again next time. Okay, so we need uh, some kind of key cord. Which I have no idea where to find one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see it. There we go. Ooh. 
Interesting. I'll keep this one. Okay, two down, five to go. Oh, there's another one. Oh. These are no problem. I can handle myself. Oh, wait a minute. No, we don't want glider. What am I what am I doing? Um there. The prize for this week's hollow chess competition will be two tickets to the space opera Squid Lake. Got it. Interesting. I'll keep this one. Alright, three down, four to go. Under construction. Okay, we never saw this room the first time around. This is that meeting room that uh, that they had in the movie. Cutting it a little too close. I'll show this to the council. <laughs> Whenever he said it, I'll show this to the council. Yeah, and the council will give you a hard time. Okay, was it just two more? Two more. Oops. I'm in. So what's the plan? That was a mistake. Is she saying crate dragon? Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Why? Step aside. It's my turn. Why would they have force lift boxes here to pull this thing out when you can just pull it out and put it back in using the force? I'm sorry, this one confuses me a little bit. Because you can't say, like, oh, in case you're using... Shut up! Um, you, you can't say, like, oh, okay, well, it's for one of these characters who grabs it. But no, you. 
this it defeats the purpose because you have to use a force character to bring the boxes over here for one of these characters to take this out and put it back in. So I'm completely confused right now as to why there's boxes here for for that. Just doesn't make any sense. Interesting. I'll keep this one. It's been so long since I've been here, I can't even remember everything. Hey, the big we got him party is still happening as planned. Word is this place is fully operational, so the rebels don't stand a chance. Guess I'll see you at the party, man. Peace! Hmm. What do you mean, peace? You guys don't bring, bring peace. You bring, uh, chaos. Madness. And so much more. Now you must say. A reminder that tomorrow's Bring Your Pet to Work Day is cancelled. Following last year's tragic pool incident. You have got to be kidding me. They're actually using the green screen. Oh, this is insane. Oh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we originally had to take over someone's mind in that room as Vader right here to open this door. Step aside. It's my turn. Why can't I do that? Oh no, I screwed up. Somehow I got rid of General Grievous. Wait, how did I do that one? Yeah, there's supposed to be ten characters here. How do I only have nine characters? How did I have ten the other time? I'm confused. Again. Our condolences to all those who lost pets and colleagues to that barbaric pork. Hey, it's the Wandering Wookiee! A reminder that tomorrow's Bring Your Pet to Work Day is cancelled following last year's tragic Crate Dragon incident. <laughs> okay, so here he's referencing uh, what they did with Episode 7, putting the, the big giant cannon inside the planet. <laughs> Alright, where to next? Okay, in terms of 
progression, we are 100% done with the second Death Star. Which is odd. I was expecting the Death Star 2 story from that one character. Wait, did... No. We couldn't have seen everything already. I, I had to have missed something here. I had to have missed something. Yeah, here we go. Oh, they were playing cards back here. <laughs> Busted! We couldn't have seen everything. There's gotta be something I'm missing, right? Whoops. Okay, I'm going across are going through all the rooms with the mini-map on so that it can reveal everything that we're seeing on the main map. Since this game is apparently bugged and does not like to reveal things without the mini-map on. Which makes no sense. Yeah, see, look, now it's revealing everything. Okay, I guess we've seen everything. Test something here. What was another area we were at with the uh, map on? Apparently not. I know there was another planet where we had the map on since we've been doing free play. Maybe it was this one? Okay, let's try some other planets we have not been to lately.
Well, this one's somehow still visible. Okay, so it's a toss-up. I, I just don't get it. Oh, we have enough uh, copper bricks for Our this one. Okay, so anyways, next episode we'll check out the rest of the capital ships. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And we'll start with, of course, this one here. And then hopefully next episode, I, that we can finally say, that, oh hey, we finally checked out all the capital ships, which was supposed to be this episode, but it just, it took way too long to, uh, acquire the last few remaining capital ships in this episode, which was completely ridiculous. That took way, way too long. Way much longer than it should have. Oh, there we go. Now we can get both of <laughs> both characters in the shot this time. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well, anyways, that's going to be it for episode 30 of LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. We'll, of course, be back next time with episode 31, where hopefully, like I just said, hopefully we'll be able to finally finish off all the capital ships. Well, at least in this case, in, uh, in terms of explore exploration, you know, exploring them, and also 100%ing them as well. So... So yeah, we're kind of doing two things. Originally, I was only going to just explore them and move on. Uh, if that was the case, maybe we might have been done checking out all the ships by now. But uh, but yeah, we're, we're, we're working on them as we're going along. So that way we can fully finish them up and be done with them entirely. But uh, yeah, so either way, look forward to more capital ships and more progress in the next episode. And also... We are at 56.91% complete. Yeah, I almost forgot to say that one. And that is me shutting her up. <laughs> but anyways, again, it's going to be it for this episode. So until next time, keep on gaming. There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away I'm not always strong And I